everybody. it takes a while to warm up to someone. Like Rupert. What? No, 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 it's, it's okay. We're best friends now. Well, that's good. I mean to tell you. But other times you just like them right from the start. What I was thinking. I don't know why. Isn't that right, Mr. Narrator? That's right, Ollie. Last time, Ollie's brothers were pressured by a gang of wild donkeys to steal grain from Farmer John. Sinbad wants to know if you fellows are coming with us. Yes, but he said something about an initiation? What kind of an initiation? You have to prove you'll be more loyal to us than to your own family. Ali was sent to bring them back, but he found himself captured with his brothers <laughs> and put on a ship bound for Rome to die in the Colosseum. Cut him down, son. Which brings us to our next story called Off to Rome. Jehu and Rupert leave for the farm where Rupert last saw Ali. But miles away at the coast in the city of Caesarea, Ali, Whipper, and Isa, Esau, and Jeremy are loaded on the boat for the Circus Maximus in Rome. Right next to them, Juana, a young elephant only six months old, sits in his pen crying because he misses his mom and dad. What's your name, young fellow? My name is Juana. I miss my mom and dad. I should have listened to them and not wandered off by myself. Now I don't even know how to get home. I'm Ollie. These are my brothers, and that's Whipper. I know things don't look good, but we've been in tough situations before, and God has always helped us through. Even when you were away from your mom and dad? Sure. I'm not saying I feel good about this situation. The last time I was on a boat, it sank and almost killed us. But here we are. I mean it. of it. Besides, we're going to a circus. It's gonna be fun. I mean, how bad could it be going to a circus? <laughs> what was that? There was a lion. I saw him. He has big, sharp teeth. When he bites you, it really hurts. My mom showed me your scar. They're shipping him to the same circus. <laughs> I don't know how you can be so cheery, Ollie. The purpose of the whole show is for him to chase us around the ring and try to eat us. Well, I'm smarter than any lion. And I, for one thing, am not going to be eaten. Really, little brother? And just how are you going to stop the lion from eating you? Simple. I'll tell him if he eats me, he's going to get the biggest stomach ache he ever had. Out the doors. Quit your roar. We'll be in Rome soon enough. <laughs> 
and your roaring isn't going to help anyone get any sleep. So I suggest unless you really want to go hungry, you keep the noise to a minimum. like to sing. My best friend is a raven. You may have heard of him. Rupert the Renown. Can't say that I have. Looks like you and your friends are in a predicament. How can I help you? Can you get a message out for me? Like a message in a bottle? I don't think I could carry a bottle. No. Just tell Rupert where we are. So Jehu could come and rescue us. Don't see why not. I've done some pretty important things in my time. circus in Rome, and they want some old lion to eat us. We're gonna need some help, quick! You got it? Sure, I got it! Tell Rupert to meet you at the circus! Bye! Wait! What a bird brain! Didn't even get the whole message. Well, maybe Rupert will be able to figure it out. Wait! It's back there, silly! Ani doesn't have much faith in his communication system, but decides to keep his hopes up. Meanwhile, Jehu and Rupert have finally arrived at the farm where Ollie was last seen. Excuse me, I heard you were robbed by a donkey band the other night. Is that true? Yes, it's true. But this time, I was ready for them. See that net? Well, I caught five of them. They'll never rob anybody again. Was one a real small white one? As a matter of fact, yes there was. He didn't look like much of a renegade, but I caught him with all the others. Why are you so curious? That was Donkey Ollie! Ollie, does it sound familiar? Why? Should I have heard of him? He gave Jesus his ride into Jerusalem and rescued uh -huh. Paul from Damascus. Of course he wouldn't know unless he were a Hebrew. What did you do with them? The thieves? Why, well, I sent them to the circus. The oh. circus? They're going to the circus, the Colosseum in Rome. Chased around the ring, chewed down to the bone. They're gonna be sorry. Circus, it'll teach the th 
they do. They'll never steal from me again or break the golden rule. They're gonna be sorry. Oh, they're gonna be sad. They're gonna all tell and die. They are all very bad. So, so bad. Jehu and Rupert head as fast as they can for the seaport in Caesarea. By the time they arrive, they realize that they have missed the boat by two days. Do you know who Rupert the Renowned is? Who wants to know? I've got a message for him, from Ollie. You're talking to Rupert right now. You're Rupert? Huh? You're a pretty funny looking raven. No, he meant me. Ollie gave you a message? Yeah. He said to tell you he needs help. Something about the circus. He's not that far away. You want me to take you there? No, you go ahead and tell him I'll try and figure out some way to help him. Tell Ollie to hang in there. I'll be along. See ya! Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Rupert, old boy, do you think you can make it? I've done some flying, but you really fly. All that's underneath us is water. Are we ever going to get some rest? Well, my feathers are designed for floating, but who knows? You could sink like a rock. Huh? Hey, you're safe. There's a board. Let's just put down over there. Sleep? Can't you tell? You better move quickly! <laughs> Why didn't you tell me we were shark bait? That was a close call. Thelonius the lion decided in the middle of the night he was hungry, and being used to having his own way, decided to give out a great big roar. bigger trouble than I'm already in now. You're braver than I could ever be, Ollie. Ollie? Ahoy! Ahoy down there! Anybody got any sesame seeds? It's a long way out here! Rupert, how did you find us out here in the middle of the sea? Well... I didn't do it myself, I had some help. Smooth Feather. He knew these parts pretty well. And boy, can he see. He saw the ship miles ago. I'm going to talk to this lion. He keeps roaring and scaring us all to death. You know they're planning on putting us in the circus in Rome? Circus? That sounds like fun. They need any birds? This is the kind of circus where people come to watch animals get eaten. I don't think it's going to be too much fun. Company closer and I'll eat you. I'll jump right through these bars. Go ahead, 
didn't try. You're too slow to catch me. <laughs> Quit teasing him. He's just bluffing. If he could have gotten out of there, he would have a long time ago and eaten us all. You don't seem like you really care. I bet you miss home just like we do. You're probably even seasick. How did you know? They trapped me after my mate and I had a whole litter of cubs. I won't even get to see them grow up and train them how to hunt. How come you're so nice to me? I'm probably going to be the one that eats you. Why should I worry about it? You're not eating me now. Besides, I've never even met a lion like you. So big and brave. I bet you could scare anybody about half to death. I'm the king of the jungle. I'm ferocious as they come. When you hear my roaring voice, everybody better run. I'm not afraid of hyena. They just make me laugh. I'm the king of the jungle. And it's time to get down my grass. I can scare the skin out the elephant. Frighten your ass with one growl. When I roar, the jungle comes to life. I'm the king of the jungle right now. As they come, when you hear my roaring voice, everybody better run. I'm not afraid of hyena, they just make me laugh. I'm the king of the jungle, and I'll stomp you down like grass. And I'll stomp you down like grass. And I'll stomp you down like grass. I roll so loud, monkeys fall from teeth, and shivers down every spine. When I run through the bush, you better look out Or you'll be my guest to die And you taste so very fine I'm the king of the jungle I'm ferocious as they come When you hear my roaring voice Everybody better run I'm not afraid of hyenas Well, they just make me laugh I'm the king of the jungle And I'm stomping Aren't you afraid of me? <sighs> no, not even a little bit. My friend, God is much more powerful than you. I'm not scared one bit. Not even a little? <clears throat> well, I am, but you're way too slow. You're not really planning on eating my friends, are you? I've got a big appetite. And besides, your friends are pretty tasty. He'd probably be a good stomach full. <laughs> I'll tell you what. How's about we make a deal? A deal? What's a deal? You know, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. We both win. How's about that? What kind of deal? You want to go home, don't you? Yes. <sighs> what do you ask? <sighs> Well, Ollie and I have been a lot of places. We could get you home to see your cubs. That is, if you cooperate. You could. You bet we could. We know how to pray. And I've been in worse jams than this before. Why, one time we were almost eaten by a giant octopus. Okay, I'll make a deal. What is it? You don't eat any of our friends, and we'll get you home. But what if I get hungry? Then you get hungry. Is it a deal? Okay, you've got it. But they probably won't like it. These people expect me to eat everybody. That's what the show's all about. Well, don't worry about that. We'll find a way to make them think you're eating us. Okay? Ollie went back to his brothers and friends and told them all about the deal that Rupert had made with Thelonious. They were all so much happier knowing that they weren't going to be eaten. Miles away, Jehu had finally managed to secure passage as a ship's helper on a boat bound for Rome. After he boarded the boat, he found out it made several stops and would be weeks before he'd be able to find Ollie. 
He worried about them all, but trusted that God would bring them there in time to save his friends. Ahoy there! <laughs> Welcome to the seaport of Anzio, the gateway to Rome! Well, Ollie, I guess we got ourselves in a real big mess this time. You think God can help us up? We messed up pretty bad. I don't see why not. Everybody makes mistakes. And if you're sorry for them, then I'm sure God will help you. I, for one, am not too worried. Well, you already made a deal with that lion. What about us? The deal was for all of you. Well, there's a lot of other animals to worry about, too, besides that big cat. <laughs> Look! There's the three hyenas we've been hearing about all trip. I don't like those hyenas. I can just tell they're going to be trouble. Here it is, kids. What you've been waiting for. Farmer John's Corner. In today's story, Ollie ran into a whole lot of different kinds of animals. Now, we have a lot of different animals here on the farm. For instance, we have sheep, and we have sheep dogs. Well, look, there's a dog now trying to herd the sheep. He's in training, but he's doing a pretty good job. The sheep dogs herd the sheep, and they also protect them if there's any danger. Danger can come from a lot of different sources. They can come from humans trying to steal the sheep, or they can come from wild animals like coyotes that try to attack the sheep. Some of the other animals around the farm are cows, and horses, and chickens. But there are other kinds of animals that you might be able to see around your home. I like to keep this bird feeder filled and watch the birds that show up. We occasionally see hummingbirds and hawks. If I'm very quiet, I can occasionally even spot a wild rabbit. Whoops, I think it's seen me. Oh, there it goes. My friend Jan has some animals that are a little more unusual. These are alpacas. And that big guy in the center is a llama. Both animals originally come from South America. I'm trying to feed them, but they seem a little shy today. Then Jan showed me her cavies, which are more commonly called guinea pigs. Oh my goodness. This is coffee, and coffee is only a month old. The Incas in Peru domesticated them, and I hate to tell you, they used them like chickens. Oh, well, how you doing? I escaped from the circus. What? I escaped from the circus where they made me perform in front of huge crowds and exchange for goods and services. But now I'm free from there. I don't ever have to go back into that terrible cage. I want to go home now. I, I don't... Mr. Budinski! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it was fun looking at all those animals. And I was thinking, we could build an animal of our own. We could build it out of balloons. So I went out and bought this balloon kit and uh, they gave me all these balloons and I'm not quite sure what to do with them. But I think, well, I guess I can start by blowing up a balloon. <sighs> hey, Farmer John. Well, hello, Mr. Budinski. Hi. I was wondering if I could borrow your... Are you making balloon animals? Well, yes, Mr. Budinski. We're, we're making balloon animals. And... Here are the balloons, but I'm afraid I really don't know how to do it. Oh, do you know how to make balloon animals? <laughs> do I know how to make balloon animals? I was a rodeo clown for a year one day. <laughs> First of all, these are the wrong type of balloons. These are party balloons. They're nice oh. and fun, but they're not what you need. You need these long, stretchy balloons. Okay. They're actually built to handle the twisting that you need for making animals. Okay. So the first thing you want to do 
You want to blow them up? Fine. It gets really hard if you try to do it with your mouth. You use a pump. There's another way? Yep. There's a pump? Yep. Oh, most kits come with a pump. So, is this a pump? Yes, that's a pump. Oh! All right. You just put it on the end, okay. hold it down firmly, and you start pumping. Like that? Yep. Oh, you did that quick. Yep, please. Like about there? Or I noticed yeah. you didn't go all the way out to the end. Yeah, you don't want to go out all the way to the end. In fact, even if you do, you want to let out a little bit of air so it has room to breathe. Okay. Well, let's, uh... And then when you get it nice and full yet flexible, tie a knot at the end. Oh, okay. Let out a little bit of air. <sighs> From the balloon. Oh, okay. There you go. Like that. A little bit too much. Why don't I just watch you? Yeah. Now, first thing you want to do is you make a twist, and it's not unlike a sausage link twist. The reason for this is because they help define the shape. Now, this is a pretty quick and easy way to make a little dog. Look at that. You can see the nose and the ears and the feet. Oh, that's great. I'm just whisking hold it together. Yes. Just hand it to a friend. Oh, look at that. Thank you, Mr. Budinsky. Well. Isn't that really <laughs> right? Oh. <laughs> Mr. Shivers! Shivers! <sighs> well, the good thing is, we can just make another one, right? Oh, but, but you like that one. I'm so sorry. It was my favorite. You'll be just fine. And afterwards, we'll have ice cream. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, kids. See you next time. In our next episode, Ali and his brothers get their first view of the kind of battle that goes on in the arena. Can you hear that? That must be my Uncle Hannibal. <laughs> 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 Then, it's their turn. That's next time on The Adventures of Donkey Ollie. See you again next time. Bye now!